channel today we will do 2022 local paper solutions so question number one is this we have to <coughs> convert it into a plus b iota form means we have to convert it into real and imaginary part <coughs> so first of all using uh, the formula a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab so in the place of a we have we have 2 and the place of b we have minus uh, 3 iota so the formula will be a square plus b square minus 2ab okay so a square 2 square is equal to 4 3 uh, iota square this is 9 iota square and this will be 12 minus 12 iota and denominator will be um, iota 1 minus iota okay so iota square is equal to minus 1 so putting that so it will be minus 9 so minus 4 my uh, 4 minus 9 will be minus 5 minus 12 iota now uh, multiplying and dividing by conjugate conjugate is uh, changing the uh, uh, iota sign means if we have plus iota we will multiply and divide by minus iota okay in the denominator and if we have minus iota we will uh, add 1 plus iota okay on both side now multiplying that we will get minus uh two minus five minus five uh, five iota minus 12 minus 12 iota square and iota square is equal to minus one so we have minus one and the in the denominator we have one minus iota and one plus iota it will be a plus b a minus b which will be equal to a square minus b square <clears throat> means one square minus iota square uh, iota square is minus one one square is one minus one will be minus minus plus one plus one will be two so in the denominator we have two okay and in the numerator we have uh, we we come up with by solution by solving we come up with um, seven minus uh, seven divided by two into minus 17 divided by 2 iota this is the question number one now moving towards the question number five i mean part number five part number five is if uh, a um, this matrix into a is equal to this matrix so we have to find the a matrix so a matrix we are letting it equal to a b c d e f now multiplying it multiplying is like first term with first term and the second term means 2a minus d and then 2a then um 2b let me clear okay first of all 2a then minus 1 into d minus d then 2b 2b minus 1 into e is minus e then 2c then minus 1 into f minus f okay like this same like minus 1 into a minus a 2 into d plus d and minus 1 into b minus b and 2 into e plus 2e and then minus 1 into c minus minus c and minus uh, 2 into f 2f plus 2f and this is same now um, at as it is equal matrix so the first one will be equal to first matrix changing the color 2a will be equal to 2a minus d will be equal to 0 this is equation 1 okay then this one minus uh, 2b minus e is equal to minus 3 this is equation 2 then 2c minus f is, will be equal to 8 
this is equation number 3 then this one will be equal to 3 this is equation number 4 then minus b plus 2e will be equal to 3 this, equ this is equation number 5 and last one will be equal to minus 7 this is equation number 6 now as you can see equation number 1 has 2a and equation number 2 has minus 2 uh, minus a so we have uh, the limitation of 2 so we can multiply equation number um, so we can multiply equation number 4 by 2 so we are multiplying by 2 we get minus 2a into 4d same like with equation number 5 we are multiplying by 2 so we get minus 2b plus 4e is equal to 6 same like similarly with equation number 6 we are multiplying by 2 so it will be this now subtracting equation 1 and 4 and like this this two the new one equation number um two and this is new equation this equation will be this will be six i mean seven eight this will be nine one and seven subtracting equation one and seven so we will get plus minus will be cancelled and we get four, uh, 3d is equal to 6 d key va d value will be 2 and equation uh, second and eighth we are separate uh, adding we will get uh, bb will cancel we will get the value of e which is equal to 1 and then equation number uh, 3 and 9 adding them we will cancel out this and we will get the value of f which will be minus 2 now putting in equation 1 we will get uh, equation number 1 is this we are putting the value of d which is 2 and we will get the value of a which is 1 then putting in equation number 2 which is this putting the value of b uh, putting the values of e here is e 2b minus e is equal to minus 3 which is 1 and we get the value of b which is 1 minus 1 and putting in equation number 3 the value of f so we get the value of c3 now putting the value of uh, a b c d a b c d e f in equation in the value of a a is 1 b is minus 1 c is 3 d is 2 e is 1 and f is minus 2 so this is how you will find the value of a <clears throat> okay so this is the answer of a next we have part number six six we have we are given with this matrix we have to find the inverse and we have to show that the a into a is equal to identity matrix of order two by two means one zero zero one two rows and two columns two by two matrix we have to show uh, when we multiply a with a inverse we will get identity matrix of second order so first we have to find the inverse of this so a inverse is equal to by the formula adjoint of a over determinant of a so adjoint of a will be changing the position of these two position and changing the sign of these two sign so we will get uh, minus 2 here 2 here minus iota minus iota divided by the um, uh, determinant of a determinant of a will be um, determinant of a will be um, 
मल्टीप्लाइंग टू बाय माइनस आयोटा बाय टू आयोटा माइनस आयोटा इंटू आयोटा आयोटा इंटू आयोटा दिस विल बी माइनस टू आयोटा स्क्वेयर माइनस आयोटा स्क्वेयर सो आयोटा स्क्वेयर इज माइनस वन इंटू माइनस माइनस वन दिस विल बी टू माइनस माइनस विल बी प्लस वन and we will get determinant 3 okay first you should find the determinant then go with the adjoint so determinant is 3 here dividing by determinant we get a inverse okay then we have second part of this question is to uh, show that a multiplied by a inverse is equal to identity matrix so showing that we have to just multiply this both so this term will go with this like this 2 iota multiply by minus iota over 3 minus this term with this iota into minus iota over 3 okay then 2 iota with this term uh 2 iota into minus iota over 3 minus iota with iota into 2 iota this term over 3 okay this is the first row then second row will be iota multiply by minus iota over 3 minus minus iota this term with this term minus iota over 3 okay then iota into this is iota iota into um minus iota over 3 minus i mean here will be plus plus um minus iota into last term with this term 2 iota over 3 now just simplify it you will get the answer so here it is written okay this is the same which i have shown you before now just multiplying it and solving it we will get this the solution method i have told you many times so this is same like this you can see the solution it's very simple okay moving on the next question okay part number 7 is this x uh, 3x square minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 we have to find alpha plus beta divided alpha divided by beta plus beta divided by alpha is equal to so a is 3 b is minus 2 and c is 4 alpha plus beta is equal to this uh, the sum is equal to minus b over a we get 3 over a and uh, the product is equal to c over which is 4 point uh, 4 over 3 and we have to find this alpha divided by beta plus beta divided by alpha um taking the lcm uh, we get alpha over beta and here will be alpha square plus beta square which will be equal to this and just putting the values alpha plus beta is 2 over 3 square minus 2 alpha into beta 4 over 3 alpha into beta 4 over 3 solving it we will get 5 over 3 minus 5 over 3 alpha over beta plus beta over alpha okay uh, now moving towards the eighth part of past paper we are given with this question reduce into partial fraction so uh, when we are given square in the end x square plus 1 we write it as uh, ax plus b and we are when we are given with linear term we write it as c so um we have to write it like this so this is a form we are going with now multiplying lcm on both side which is x plus 3 into x square plus 1 so this whole term is cancel out with this and we are left with this and for the ax 
plus 3 x square uh, plus 1 is cancelled out and we are left with x plus 3 and for the third c term x plus 3 x plus 3 is cancelled we are left with x square plus 1 so we have one linear term x plus 3 is equal to 0 x values uh, is minus 3 put in, in equation number 1 so we get if you put here minus 3 plus 3 will be 0 and this whole term will be 0 so no need to write it so we get the value of c which is minus 2 simplifying by it then we multiply the uh, linear term x ax plus c into x plus 3 to get the value of a and b multiplying it and uh, comparing the coefficient of x and x square first of all we are comparing the coefficient of x x will be 3x 3 uh, coefficient will be here and then uh, 3a then b then c do doesn't have a x so it will be not there so this is equation 1 then we have comparing x square x square will be uh, here uh, uh, equation here we don't have x so it will be 0 0 and uh, x square is with a so it will be a and with c so it will be c we have value of c which is minus 2 uh, and we get the value of a which is 2 now put in in equation number 1 we get 3 into a a is 2 we get 6, 6 minus 3 minus 6 and b we get minus 2. Put in um, its value in equation, this is k. Put in k. So we get this was ax plus b is divided by x plus 3 plus c divided by x square plus 1. So we get c value minus 3, a value, b value is minus uh, 3 and a value is 2 so we get 2x minus 3 over x square plus 1 minus 3 over x plus 3 so ignore this I have written wrong here is x square plus 1 and x plus 3 so this is the answer final answer okay